Welcome back. So an ANC councillor in the northwest has been temporarily suspended due to allegations of statutory rape. Councillor Thomas Mangane is expected back in court later this month. But for more on the party's decision, uh, ANC Interim Northwest Committee spokesperson Kenny Morolong is live with us now on the line from Swaziland. Um, Kenny, a good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Just how binding is this action that you have taken and how long will this last? Uh, good morning, lady, and uh, good morning to the viewers of ENCA. Now, the Interim Provincial Working Committee uh, met recently and uh, decided uh, to temporarily suspend the membership of Comrade Thomas Mangani. Comrade Thomas Mangani appeared briefly uh, at Mukwase Magistrate Court on charges of statutory rape. Now, you would note that uh, the ANC Constitution, specifically Rule 225.70, empowers the IPC coordinator acting on the authority of the IPWC to temporarily place on suspension the membership of any comrade, a member of uh, the ANC, a public representative who has been charged or indicted to appear before a court of law. His temporary suspension shall remain in effect pending the finalization of this court matter. Just quickly, how did these charges come about? How did you come to learn of it? Well, uh, we learned of it following his appearance at the, the Mokwase Magistrate Court. We learned that uh, the charges that he is facing are statutory rape. And we also wish to condemn with utmost disdain the abuse of women and children. Our leaders must be at the forefront of the war against patriarchy, on the war against the abuse of women and children. Right. And that is why we view these uh, charges in a serious light. And that is why we're propelled as a structure to take appropriate action against this member. Yeah, well, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that case. But now that we've got you, I'm, I'm certainly going to take advantage of it. Um, the interim committee right now, as it continues its work in the Northwest, what is, what is your work actually looking like right now? Explain what you're doing at this point in the Northwest and your focus. Well, uh, we are currently focusing on uh, conducting branch general meetings for local government elections. This process is underway. We are actually uh, convening uh, these uh, BGMs uh, in line with the COVID-19 regulations. Uh, they continue to sit. Uh, we are at 90% uh, with respect to convening of these BGMs. Uh, the next phase would be to complete uh, branch uh, uh, general uh, meetings for uh, our provincial conference. Uh, that process has also commenced. Uh, uh, and once it has uh, concluded, we'll go to a provincial conference and a provincial executive committee will subsequently be elected. Yeah. There has been um, some st instability with regards to the Premier's office. What's the latest specifically uh, with what's happening right now with the Premier's office in the Northwest? Well, uh, we also wish to confirm that indeed a discussion on the premiership has ensued, uh, but you would know that the, the deployment and or redeployment of premiers is the exclusive domain of the National Executive Committee. I can confirm that this matter is being discussed within the internal structures of the organization. I have no authority to make any further public pronouncements in this regard. The National Executive Committee will at an appropriate time express itself with respect to its position and right. the next course of action. No, we'll accept that. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, that was the ANC's Interim Northwest Committee spokesperson, Kenny Morolong, speaking to us from Schweiz Renega.